Hey there, Norian fans. It's that time again for Norian football. They have an early matchup against Syracuse because this game will take place in New Jersey slash New York, home of the Jets and Giants and a lot of blah. And uh, Norian is one and three in this early season. And they're not ranked anymore. That sucks. And and their opponent, Syracuse, Syracuse is two wins and two losses. They're not even better neither. This might be a high scoring game like last Saturday against Duke. Nordame should beat Duke but bad decisions and very, very stupid. So that's all I gotta say, and I'll get my thoughts at halftime. So, see you later, everyone. If you're a Notre Dame fan, if not, probably you're not gonna watch this game so early in the day. There's a lot of great matchups on Saturday. So, have a good one, and once again, I'll do my halftime report. Bye bye. Go Irish. Hopefully, they win this game and snap their, snap their two game losing streak. It is halftime, and guess what? Notre Dame is actually leading at halftime, 33 to 27, over Syracuse. It's a very, very uh, high-scoring game. Both teams suck. I'm being totally honest. Um, Notre Dame, right before halftime, um, Notre Dame had a ball. They throw it picked off and I thought Syracuse is going to take the lead but no dice so this is, game is very ridiculous if you love offense kind of game this is for you if you just like defense this is not your kind of a game now Notre Dame scored 23 points in the first quarter that's insane isn't it man so let me do a quick recap Zaire for Notre Dame QB, 14 out of 22, one pick, 356 yards, and two TDs in the first half. That's insane. His longest pass so far is 79 yards. That's crazy. And for uh, Syracuse, his name is Eric, 18 out of 28, 265 yards, two TDs. His longest pass was 72 yards. Jesus. They look really like the keep passing it. Ah, man. No name just sucks. Both teams sucks. So I don't know what's going to happen. If they lose this game, that's on Notre Dame, you know? And I told my dad um, earlier today, they might have, I think they should fire um, the coach of Notre Dame. And my dad says, it's not going to happen because they give my long contract Hey, if they fire him, they could still pay him the money. You know? I don't know. I guess a lot of guys are injured, and, and now the guys who post to make the team or on a team this past summer, they did some stupid stuff, so they got kicked off. So I'll give my final thoughts when this game is over. Maybe Notre Dame will. Um, Use their freaking defense, you know, stop the running game or whatever. It just uh, feel like a video game I'm watching. So that's all I gotta say, and I'll give my th final thoughts when the game is over. Like I said a few minutes ago, go Irish! Come on, you gotta win this game. You guys are one and three, and it's early season. Oh my gosh, not looking good. I heard not looking good. I know they're winning, but still, sloppy game. Wow, Notre Dame won 50 to 33. You heard me right, 50 to 33. That's insane. Holy crap. Like I said earlier in this video, I feel like a freaking video game. No defense on both ends of the field for both teams. And it's pathetic. I mean, I'm glad that Notre Dame won, but they should never ever give up 33 points. It's stupid. Now, this is the final um, stats. Isaiah, 
I think that's the name for Nordim QB. He was 23 out of 35. One pick. That's not bad. Got some yards he passed. You're right. 471 yards. Three TDs. His longest one. His longest pass was 17 yards. I don't know if that's a Notre Dame record for the most passing yards in one game. That's insane. Wow. For crying out loud. Um, this one receiver had four receptions for a buck 82. Two TDs. His longest uh, reception, a long yard of 79 yards. Not bad. Now, on the other hand, for Syracuse QB, Eric, 31 51. He passed too much. Notre Dame did too. 363, two TDs. His longest pass was 72 yards. So, it was mostly the the passing game. Um, the running game did not do nothing, I don't think. So, whatever. So, Notre Dame is now one. I'm sorry, two and three. And Syracuse is, I think, two and two. I don't know. I don't. I don't remember. I mean, I guess I don't know. No, is this up to date or not? So the next opponent will be next Saturday at 11 o'clock. Oh uh, no, early game. Crap. Against the Wolfpack, NC State. So let me see. I think this is a roll game. Let me look this up real quicky. Okay, it is on road, so hopefully they're going back to back. I'm glad they, Notre Dame has snapped their two game lose streak. Then after um, North Carolina State, they got to play Stanford, so they got four home games in a row. Actually, five games in a row. Then the last road game will be November 26th against our rival, USC. So. That's the afternoon game. All the games are decent. While well, Navy, they will get play at 10:30. So I'm assuming um, that's. I think that's a um, um, Shamrock series. I forget what was it at. I think it's in San Antonio. So this wraps it up. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And all my other social media accounts are down below. Have a good one. Your rest of your Saturday and go Irish. Hopefully. They win the rest of the game, but they have a lot of work to do. They should never ever give up 33 points. That's insane.